was gesturing to some friends out there, possibly. Ken doing a little bit of showboating, uh, standing up on that motorcycle, and uh, not, not as much as he done before. But we're southbound on Grove. This will be taking us back into the Ontario area. 10 Freeway will be up here in a little bit. I'm not so familiar with this area. I don't know if there's an on-ramp. That's the reason why I mention it. But about 70 miles an hour now, California Highway Patrol is still behind him. Four vehicles chasing him, two motorcycles, two uh, cars. Original one, reckless driving. You know, so every pursuit that we cover is a unique situation, obviously, but with the motorcyclists, obviously, it's more dangerous. We feel like it's more vulnerable, as you were mentioning and Elsa was mentioning. But also, I wanted to ask you, what kind of options do CHP officers have in a case like this? Uh, you know, obviously they can lay down spike strips and try the pit maneuver when it's a vehicle. Uh, what kind of options are out there, if any? You know, in, in this case right now, it's, it, it probably would be just just wait and see. Uh, they, they can't, like you said, they can't pit this guy. They can't, uh, they, they might be able to do spike strips, but again, with a motorcycle, that might be against their policy. And also, the maneuverability, they probably would see that coming and he would be, be able to swerve around it. So their, their, their pursuit tactics for a motorcycle are much different than a car. Uh, again, the, the motorcycle might have a little bit less fuel range, so maybe they can run this uh, run this out. Uh, but again, at the right now, this pursuit continues southbound on Grove, California Highway Patrol chasing this guy. Their other option is let the uh, let the uh, pursuit kind of plane out, use the helicopter, just keep an eye on him. Uh, we've seen that happen quite often in the past, and these guys do get caught. They might be able to drop their motorcycle and run into a residence, but that helicopter is going to watch it. So again, uh, we're moving uh, on southbound here. We're approaching the 210 freeway. There is no on-ramp right here, so he does not have that option to get back on a freeway right now. Uh, he can uh, obviously take some roads, but uh, right underneath the 210 right now. Uh, Stu, so, uh, I believe southbound uh, Grove, he is crossing the 10 freeway. He's in between the 210 on Grove Avenue is between the 210 and the 10, correct? He, he didn't make any attempt, obviously, to hop onto the 10 freeway. It appears he's still on the surface streets here. And uh, this looks like a residential yeah, area. Yeah, this is a residential area, but he's continuing the driving in circles now as we start to lose more daylight. And this guy uh, still continues to engage the CHP in a pursuit. Stu, you were saying that if this motorcycle does belong to this person, they may know who they're chasing. It, it is the person, the owner of this motorcycle, and they may back off and just kind of wait to go and uh, talk to this man instead of continuing this pursuit. But don't know any other than he was wanted for reckless driving. We don't know if this motorcycle belongs to him, if it's someone else's, if this is the owner of the motorcycle. Um, but for everyone's safety, like Stu said, they may pull off of this pursuit. You know, oftentimes uh, we wonder if uh, the person being pursued knows the neighborhood. In this case today, it certainly doesn't seem that way. Uh, this uh, motorcyclist has gone through various residential neighborhoods. This is Ontario now, uh, traveling east, uh, and we've been going through various neighborhoods in Fairmont. Uh, and uh, this is what's been happening throughout the course of this pursuit. Uh, this is what uh, professional riders call seat standing. He's doing the same thing over again. This is another residential neighborhood in Ontario now. And uh, he's been through many uh, different uh, little corners and uh, streets and gas stations to cut cut off uh, perhaps the CHP officers in pursuit. But it looks like uh, he might have stopped everything that's on him here, and it looks like the CHP officers are out. That's right, the officers are out. They do have their guns out, which is, uh, 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 you know, very what dangerous. What a pansy. You know, can stay right here. You can see him that he, he basically just is, is complying now, just out of the blue, decided to stop right here at a gas station. Maybe he was running low, up low on fuel, but basically pulled into this gas station and just give, give it up. Uh, laying down there on the road, uh, on the sidewalk there. Officers from the California Highway Patrol taking him into custody without incident. Looks like he's uh, complying very well. Again, on Ontario, right off of San Bernardino uh, Avenue. The in Ontario area, this pursuit has been going on for quite some time. We saw some crazy moments there with some nuts stunts. 
Uh, right now, though, it looks like uh, they have one in custody, is what I'm hearing, and we're seeing this as well live. Other motorcycles arriving out here, other officers arriving. Again, this pursuit over Ontario area, reckless driving. We saw that. We can confirm it. Uh, this pursuit over with one person in custody, nobody injured. Thank goodness. Thank goodness to hear that. It did start in Pomona. CHP attempted to pull this guy over for reckless driving. He then led CHP on a pursuit through San Dimas, Laverne, Upland, Ontario, basically staying within that area, running along the 210 and the 10 freeways, going through residential areas, uh, at one point taunting CHP officers by doing, uh, as Susie pointed out, seat standing. Um, and here we are now at a gas station in Ontario where this pursuit has come to an end. And it was uh, very curious there for a while to see a uh, touch and go to see if uh, this uh, guy was going to even stop because he did stop at one point uh, after doing some of the seat standing that he was doing and just kind of uh, looking back at officers to see what they were doing. And uh, as Stu mentioned earlier, there were originally two officers, CHP officers, on motorcycle after this guy. And uh, they were back quite a ways, only because this guy was going so fast, and it was curious to see if they were going to even continue with the pursuit, but it uh, looks like it's going to come to an end here in uh, the city of Ontario, and uh, we hope you'll join us on KCAL My News at 8 for more primetime news. We'll have updates and highlights. And alongside Elsa Ramon, I'm Susie Sell. We will see you at the top of the hour.